Hey everyone, Sam McKay here from Enterprise DNA. Now, what I want to show here is quick measures, and I want to do a, a bit of an overview of it uh, and show you how it's evolved because it has improved quite a bit over over the last few years. Um, talk about some of the pros and cons, and then sort of finish on I, what I think is a better alternative. I feel like. Uh, at Enterprise DNA, we have created a better alternative to quick measures. The whole thing about quick measures was is obviously to, to speed up your development, right? Sometimes writing DAX formulas can be a little bit cumbersome, takes a little bit of learning. So the idea with quick measures up here in the ribbon was that you can create measures on a whole variety of things relatively quickly, okay? There are though some major drawbacks and hopefully we can cover some of those in the tutorial today. Okay, so let's just jump in to see what you can actually do right now, okay? So if you come down here um, to click on this drop down where you've got select a calculation, you've got all of these types of analysis that can be done, right? You can average per category, min max, weighted average, you can add some filters, which is basically just replicating what you can do and calculate, you know, changing the filters within the calculation. So changing the context of a calculation uh, and, you know, a few other things, time intelligence, uh, so on and so forth, writing total. OK, so the idea is that, OK, you can say, OK, so I'm going to click on I want a running total calculation. My base value is going to be total sales and maybe um, the field is going to be dates, I believe. So let's just grab the date here and we want to be more specific on the date and then I want to go OK. OK, so let's just see what that comes up with. So, you know, the reality is, yes, OK, it can speed up your development, right? But to me, there's a few things that I don't love about it. OK, so you see here that it's, you know, it's calculating a result, but if you look at this formula and you're just starting out, it's quite hard to understand, okay, well, why is, why am I getting such a weird amount, like such a weird running total, right? Because it's hard to know what all selected is, what is is on or after is actually doing, and how all in combination with Calculate these are working, okay? Now, basically what this is doing is it's going back to the beginning of time, like to the first um, to the first piece of data that we have in our data set regardless of our filters and it's accumulating from there okay but it's hard to know that and that's what one of the downsides of um, of using of using quick measures even though look it is really quick and that's a real positive right so you know let's have a look at another one so maybe we want to do um, average per category you know and, and literally all it is is bringing in fields and um, and then pushing OK. So that's that's a real positive. And so it can open up a, a, a range of new calculations that, that you can do, right? And it, you know, it obviously seamlessly puts it into your measure groups, so on and so forth. OK, you, obviously, you might want to change the names of these sometimes because sometimes they're really long. Um, so you'll see here that I'm now getting what is the average sale per product, right? And so these are our total sales. So, you know, it looks like we maybe made six sales or something like that. OK, it's just basically working out the average. But again, I get a bit worried when you see sort of a keep filters there, right? And then a calculate here around a measure, which isn't even necessary. So there's, there's some there, even though, you know, again, we you, you are able to create things a little bit quicker, but there is a big potential for there to be mass confusion as to what result you are actually getting, which concerns me a little bit. There are simpler ways to get exactly this result without all of this stuff, right? Like we could just literally go values here and remove this calculate. We don't even need it inside of here. And push OK. And we will get exactly the same result. Okay, but it's just got this added baggage, this added, um, these added functions, which which just bring a little bit of confusion in my view. Okay, so look, I um, I've done a you know over 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 time, I've done a few reviews of quick measures, and and certainly when quick measures first came out, everyone was like, oh, will we ever have to write DAX measures again? And the answer to that has been a, a resounding. Um, no, because you know you have you, you still have to really understand how DAX works, right? You have to understand how um, 
sorry i mean yes you like you will have to write more more more, more form- you still will have to write formulas or at least you have to really have a good understanding of formulas and you know that has always been relevant and i, th- I feel will continue to be relevant for quite some some time yet now what i think is a um, a better way and, and i feel like at enterprise dna we have created a better way to c- speed up your productivity around power bi development is with our analyst hub platform right so if you come across i'll just jump onto the analyst hub here what we have done is you can create your own formulas in your own way in your own formatting and you can save them into our analyst hub application and this is just one aspect of it by the way and so we have our dax cleanup tool here right so what i can do is and i've already got this within my documents i've already created this is within my documents or i've got so a whole range of different things but i have i can just i can also do a search i can look for average and so you see here i've got moving average pattern in my documents right and then i've even got things that are more specific like average per month but if i jump into this um no that is actually it no sorry that's not the one i'm looking for that is uh let me just jump back one let's have a look i want to find an average x so let's have a look at this one no that's not the one i'm looking for we'll try this one here average x So this is this is a similar pattern, right? So maybe I want to maybe I want to name things slightly differently. Maybe I want to do maybe I want to actually call uh, I want to call these measures something similar to what is in the quick measures. But all I have to do here, because I've got these all located within the analyst hub, I can just copy the code really quickly, and then bring it across here, right? And then I can change the details. So I can say average um, sales per product and just change the details very quickly and everything's formatted well for me. Um, it's, I've, got the, I've got the pattern all sorted. And think about how you can scale this really quickly across you know, all, of your, um, all of your formulas that you might do, uh, might, you might create. Like for, for example me, like I've cut down my DAX formula writing time by such a significant amount you know i have a really good feel for and, and understanding of all of these patterns and literally all i need to do now is come into here and you know i've got my grouping pattern that i can quickly go and grab i've got my uh, what else i've got switch true logic right so this is already um embedded you know this is a, a really common uh, pattern switch true and now i can literally just copy this in and change a few parameters and then i can work out my analysis right and we can we're constantly building this up and, and, and we're also harnessing the value of our network, of our community, which is something that this quick measures, unfortunately, you know, it's, it's sort of just stuck with, with the Power BI team and they not, not, haven't done too much to it um, in, in, in the recent months anyway. Um, but what we've got here is the power of the crowd. And so in our community, you can actually have a look at everyone's formulas, what everyone is, is uploading. We're also um, very soon going to have an app for M code and also just raw code. So you can put like R code, Python code, etc. Um, and so, you know, the functionality is going to be that much more than what you would um, get inside just here by using quick measures. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a good overview. Like I've talked about, you know, I've given you a few examples. There's obviously like heaps here, like year to date, quarter to date, month to date, year to date. But, you know, all of these things are like super easy, right? Like it's just basically grabbing you know grabbing here and the thing is is like you can create this is the whole idea behind our um the analyst hub is that you can calculate a lot of this stuff uh, have a lot of this stuff already set up in the analyst hub and reference it probably quicker to be honest um and see you know again like what is all this stuff like it's just too complicated um and unnecessary the way that they have actually written this out in my view um so you know i've given you my recommendation hopefully you like it uh, and you can see the Bennett, you can see, you can understand my thoughts and understand why we actually went about building the Analyst Hub because we saw there was a real gap there. Um, so definitely check out check out uh, the Analyst Hub. Um, plenty to plenty to leverage off around how you do your own your own development. Okay, so I'll round off here. Hopefully you're getting a good view, a uh, good understanding of how how I think about things and and my sort of practical way I approach Power BI. Um, you know, I think there's some some real benefits and, and real value that you can generate by approaching things in the same way. Okay, take care, everyone. Speak to you soon.
Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like, it really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.